I think it has been almost two weeks since the whole HBO thing. And God of the Way is still the best selling Blu ray. I don't know if it, I don't, yeah, even including DVDs, it's still the best selling movie. Including DVDs, okay? It's still the number one movie on Amazon. It just shows how much of a failure HBO Max is in terms of censoring it. Blazing Saddles is still selling on Blu ray as well, which is another movie that, was go that we all know was going to be next afterwards. And yeah. We can go over other movies that were selling on Blu-ray, but yeah, this is very significant, basically, because I think it was 10 days ago, the whole God of the Wind thing happened, and HBO took it off the service, and you couldn't, you know, see it on HBO anymore. And yeah, some other similar stuff are selling as well. Beverly Hill Cop, that's in the top 10. And yeah, that's another show that people know are going to be censored as well because of all this stupid stuff going on. And yeah, God of the Wind's 35th anniversary is they're selling these for $37, okay? It's not outselling full... God of the Wind, $45, $46. It's outselling full price movies, basically. Okay? <clears throat> outselling full price movies, okay? Real Woman's only $10. This just shows how poor a little woman's selling on Blu ray. No one's buying it. Do it always a higher price and sold way more copies on Blu ray. But yeah, God of the Wind is still the number one movie on Amazon. Okay? You know, Twitter lost, basically, yeah, okay? I don't think it's gonna be number one forever. That one of the things that helping it, that helping the God of the Wind thing, movie sell is probably because there's no movies coming out. There's the Lego DC movie, which honestly no one's gonna watch. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye.